Emily's mum, it's very kindly offered just to tell us in a few words about her story with tube feeding. What we hear is all stories are different, right? But all stories are powerful and stories are how we change things. So I, it's my great honour and privilege to introduce Anna. And please join me in welcoming her to the microphone. Thank you. This is a little bit nerve wracking, but it's okay. Um, so Emily is now, I believe, 16 months. Um, a good year and pretty much from the day she was born up until just before Christmas, she was with a feeding tube. Um, it gets a bit emotional, as you all know. It was the hardest point in our lives. Um, thank you. <laughs> it was super hard, but we're super proud of what we achieved. It was hard on our families, it was hard on our relationship. Um, but our main focus was we had to get her off that feeding tube. Um, and so I just, I think the message is really that for the majority of us, it is only short term. And that's all we have to think about. There, there is kind of the light at the end of the tunnel, let's say. And we put our heart and soul and everything into it. And sometimes we forget about all the surroundings around us, but it will be okay. And it will all work out at the end. Um, so yeah, we're grateful enough with... I guess with patience and a lot of strength from family and friends supporting us as well. Um, and just our own intuition of what our child needed. We followed that through and now she's, yeah, just before Christmas she hasn't had a feeding tube and she's been eating great and she's been eating everything. She probably eats better than my four year old. Um, and saying that is remarkable in itself. So I can just say like, I'm super proud to be a part of this. I mean, there's nothing, more and more children, I guess, have feeding difficulties. And I've had a glimpse of what these guys are doing and it's gonna be remarkable and amazing. And it's so, I'm so proud to be a part of because I guess the future parents that are gonna have, I guess, a child with feeding difficulties will have more support, will have more resources than what we have. Um, so we should be super proud of that, that we're kind of leading the way and obviously these guys, all the clinicians and everything, they, they're doing a, a great job and they're going to help us out. So that's what's really good and doing things like this where we can all get together, you know, talk to the people next to you, get their stories because it's probably similar to your story and maybe, yeah, you can all kind of meet and we can do this on a regular basis. So let's just say, I guess we'll see you next year and do it all again. Thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. Please eat, drink, talk, be merry. Come and speak to a, 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 one of our volunteers and let us know uh, how we can do better for you. And, um, and please have a great day. Thank you so much for coming.